Good evening, Hammer Squad. What's going on, everybody? How's everyone doing tonight? Everyone had a wonderful afternoon. Watched some good streams. Had some good food. Maybe some of y'all had a day off. You know, day off up in here, bitches. Second while I do some stuff. Missing the food. Man, I ain't got no food. I ain't got no food up in here, boys. All I got is a uh, whole lot of nothing. Where are my starting soon screens? There we go. What's going on, dudes? Good evening. Good evening. I <sighs> heard there's a, um, I think Dressfar is up right now, right? For incursion. I want to get that done real quick before I jump up back on my bear for some more uh, leveling. Or broccoli and chicken? No, uh, pork loin and cauliflower and broccoli and brown rice. And then I'm going to get about two scoops of whey a little bit. Ooh, is that a Rathy that I see that's up right now? Ooh, a Rathy. Tempting. Need that. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to do it. I need, I need that bat mount, bro, real bad. Need that bat mount real bad. I have no clue. Uh, let's see. Like the only mount that I have that I've left out of the Arathi area to obtain. Like once I have that, then I'm pretty much done with the area. I'm done with the zone. In terms of, you know, yeah, I'm still gonna get the world boss in case I get the Titan Forge of the Trinket, which I'm gonna do right now. People don't know, but like if you do like the Arathi World Quest, there's a lot of AP. Like, look at all this AP you get. There's 1,400 AP right here, just in this area. Nuts. Let me go do the the rare first. I mean, cauliflower mash for my meal prep this week is going to be good. Oh, cauliflower mash is nice, bro. But tomorrow I have my uh, third weigh-in. Well, not my third weigh-in. My third, uh, I guess, like, picture. Like, every week I have to, you know, send my spreadsheet over with updated pictures of myself and shit like that. So I'm doing that every week. Tomorrow, tomorrow morning's that day. It'll be exciting. All right, I think this is the guy, Neymar the Slayer. Where's he at? What'd you and me, Neymar? Targeting him. All right, let's see. Come on now. Get that bat. Serrano want bat and mount. Um. I mean, you can get back into WoW and just level the 110. I just, did I get it? Oh my God, yes! Woo! Done with the Wrathy, baby. Done with the Wrathy. That's what I'm talking about. Ah. Uh, done with a Wrathy. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. I felt good. I felt good. But I've been, dude, I've been killing it with the mounts lately, haven't I? Loot and mounts? I, I feel like, I don't know, all these 395 Titan Forges, all my weapon uh, procs, and all, I feel like I'm, I'm wasting all my luck right now, you know, it's, instead of when the raid comes out. Let's see what it looks like. I think I think this pretty much uh, looks like the Horde mount, the Horde bat, but just the Alliance version of it. Oh, no, not even close. Yeah, the, the Horde bat from the scenario is way better looking, I think. This guy, this is an ugly motherfucker, man. <laughs> That's an ugly ass dude. Good lord. He's disgusting looking. Yeah, hey Puka, I'm just gonna kill lions, whatever, how if you wanna come for that, you can. I'm just gonna I'm not gonna I don't do rare runs anymore here because I have all the mounts already. I just wanna kill this fool. I bet y'all come back here and try to collect all the toys and shit. Yeah, but I mean, let's see, just to confirm, I'm pretty sure I have all the mounts. Let's see. Um, 
How do I see the mount on the opposite guy's end? Uh, mount known. Mount known. I should be another mount here. Mount known. Uh, mount, uh, where's the, see, there's a couple mounts here. Mount known and where's the, I don't have the other one. I have the, the albino. I have that one for sure. Right, let's uh, let's join a nice little party here. Oh, Jesus Christ! Yeah, this this just started, honestly. Yeah, nice Doom Howl, like 390 proc would do me some justice. Oh, oh and we lusted. We're, we're, we're getting crazy tonight, boys. We're getting crazy. We're lusting on Doom Howl. But I'm not showing the mounts on your map. That's uh, Handy Notes uh, Warfront Rares, I believe it's called. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty damn good. Hey, you know what? 370 gear that I can, you know, disenchant or whatever right now. So I'm good. Let's do it. More residuum for me, baby. More residuum for me. Was that 7? 17? 12? 12. Nice. All right, let's go to Dressfar. Tonight is your night, bro. I need to put together a raid to kill the lag boss in Dressfar. We need at least 400 people. The lag boss? What's up with the... What, what's up with that? What's a lag boss? Like at the end or like one of the quests? Because you have five quests to choose from. You can ignore one of them, you know? Yeah, no big deal. All right. Uh, here we go. Charts are full of people that the server lags. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, the worst part about having the incursions at this time of night is that it's literally prime time right now on, on Storm Rage. It's like, what, about 8.55, 9 o'clock on Storm Rage for server time. So, yeah, it's like prime time, you know, people getting their shit together and stuff. So, yeah, it's going to be gonna be lit for a little while. Nice. Nice. Let's get this one rolling and nothing else is going to give me shit probably because I need more reinforcements with my 9k shit. Let me buy my other two. What's the token max you can have currency? Uh, two out of five. Okay, so I'm about to have four out of five. Get some more Azurite from Deep Sea Sand. I still got to kill 25 hordes, so we'll see if that can happen too. I'm not going to get into a big-ass battle on my own. I'm going to see if I can just join a bunch of group of people doing the quest. Yeah, good workout today, man. Did, did full-blown shoulders. Everything hurts. Everything's good. Um, I guess I finished the Bandersnatch um, movie thing. I, I guess I didn't finish it. I could, like, still go back and choose other things and shit. Like, I don't know. I got to figure that out. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, like, done, but I'm not done. Okay, that shit's crazy, bro. That that little movie interactive thing. It is fucking nuts, man. Let me tell you. That is a crazy ass fucking thing. I was going pretty good. Good concept, but I wasn't feeling it. Oh, I was definitely feeling it. Time walking is nuts. 40% per, per dungeon. I know. See, I like to compare that to a regular um dungeon in BFA. Like, what does a regular normal BFA dungeon give you? Um, I, it definitely doesn't give you 40% of a level, right? It, it can't be that. It's got to be, like, way less. It doesn't seem accurate. One, two, three, four. Where's five? Oh, it's, like, I think on top of the area. Do you use a flow chart to get the multiple endings? Uh, not yet, no. If a dungeons won't scale uh, with being under geared at 118. 
Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's just amazing. Uh, it kind of sucks being a I'm leveling as a bear, and they're really squishy. Even with like all my Argus best in slot gear, they're super squishy. Like I, I had like our, our resto druid from our mythic raid team healing me, and he was having trouble. So I can imagine if I solo queue tonight, I'm gonna have a lot of trouble. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna get wrecked, man. Uh, time walking five mans. You know, it's like when Blizzard takes you back in time, and you can do um, like Cataclysm dungeons this week, and then get 335 gear or whatever. And then you, I think you get, what, you, get, you get like a normal mode piece of gear from old deer once you finish it all. Eventually, uh, and I think, I'm not sure if 8.15 is going to have the time walking for Draenor, maybe? I think it, we got to look at the, uh, yeah, we got to look at the calendar for that. I definitely got to look at the calendar and see what's up with that shit. Because how left off Draenor, right? What does Seraphim meet Thrall, and he is given it, making him the right war chief. Gorhal, huh? Of Doomhammer. Hot spots. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Welcome to the Hammer Squad, dude. <sighs> Bonus roll, Lion's Grace. Damn. That looks nice, don't it? 390 with a socket. Lucky dog, you. Lucky dog. Uh, wait, which is the one that gives me... Okay, so bird's eye view. Uh, the hop rocket obtained. Oh, is this the one where... Oh, this is one where you jump all over the buildings. This one ain't too bad. Oh, yeah, there's definite lag here right now. Holy fuck. Um, anyone on a non-storm rage server <laughs> for lag? Oh, my God. What the fuck? Is it everywhere that's like this, or is it just here? I can't do shit, man. What the fuck? Oh, there it is. I got it. I got it. Wow, oh, that 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 delay though. Like, what, 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 what the fuck? Okay. Yeah, I'm a I'm a little delayed. All war mode shows are bad. Well, let me see. Do they have any? Yeah, see, because you you also have this happening. You have. Um, the soul, the, the, the soul Goliath is also there. So people are also forming multiple raids to kill the soul Goliath, like 40 man raids. And that's also causing pro problems and issues. You know what I'm saying? Uh, did I just get a tip. Sorry. I, didn't, I, I thought I heard the swing of the hammer. I didn't really check. Uh, thank you very much. Send all a tip from the Zlair. Happy, extremely late new year. Sally. Yeah. You're not that late, bro. Over here. You're only about, I don't know, 18 hours late. Ain't too bad. I mean, I wonder how the PvP is tonight, really. Uh, okay. There we go. I'm pretty sure they're having to use those attacks. I'm pretty sure there are some shards that are not that bad. Like put me on like uh, lightning hoof or or some shit like that. I'm I'm pretty sure we'll we we'll, we'll, would be we'd be okay. You know. I'm gonna reset down to kill quest, dude. Yeah, let's see Rivera. See if this helps out. It might. What what what, what server are we on? What is this server? Wait. You, you took me to like. I think we're still back on Storm Rage. Feel like we're still on Storm Rage. Thank you, Jiffy. That's thirty-three months and Drew M eighty-seven. Appreciate it, man. I think I think you put me right back where I was. <laughs> A little better. Not as bad. Yeah, rough reset day for this shit. I just want, I, I do this because of my conquest. So I want to get that weekly conquest chest. I got like 375. If I can get my, um, I think if I get my rating in 2v2 up to 1800, I think I get like 380 gear next week, right? And my rating right now is about 1739 in twos. I think so. I gotta like, I gotta confirm all that shit.
Okay, is, is there like a better server? I'm telling you it has to be server based. A little poopy. Hold on, man. Be one more spy gear, and then I'm done with that. Mine got better. Uh, where are you at? You know, I think I might have gotten worse. <laughs> oh, man. Are you on Storm Rage though? I feel like everyone I know is always on Storm Rage. Lag is a BFA feature. Hey man, lag is a classic feature. They're just trying to give us that pre-nostalgia before the actual nostalgia. You know what I'm saying? Respect, bro. Respect. For getting us ready for the experience. Right now they have a little button that says, you know, like activate um yeah, it's like a activate lag mode. Hey, some guy called Shifty. Knock them off. That wasn't pretty smart. Oh crap. That didn't work out. Not the way I planned it. Uh let's see. This is another one over here to kill a rare. That's this ought to be fun. Okay, rare sighting. Troll. We're waiting today. No, we don't wait till January 7th. We took about like two weeks off for the holidays. Because when we already killed Gahoon, we've we've had him killed for a while now. Which is pretty awesome. I mean, it's been a while, I think, since we in Death Jesters we've had like like a two and a half week break from raiding. Like you usually don't get that. Ah, crap. I could have fucking tagged it and I didn't. <laughs> the vapes got me. The vapes got me. Wait till he respawns. We'll be Gucci. Old Deer greater than Resident Sleeper. I don't know, man. Old Deer, you know, like, like any Mythic Grace, kind of like in Siege of Orgrimmar. I got, I, I got really bored of Siege really quick. Same thing with HFC. Those are those are kind of raids where it's like once you're done, you're done. But we have to re clear it for like, you know, you know, uh, Trying out apps and shit. The 20 minute garage fights were fun. It was kind of a joke at the end there, though. Because that was when we had the Valor, right? The Valor uh, shit. Like the 4 out of 4. And by the way, just. In my official Twitter post, so people know, pinned it up. I asked like 90 fucking questions today about that shit. Well, what is going on around here? I better back the fuck up. Uh oh. Don't went in hard. Don't went in hard. God damn it, man. I said, I only get involved if they start attacking one of the, uh, one of the Alliance. You know, he didn't bubble out. That's that wretch shit. Oh, guys, a rogue there too. The lag is fucking real. Kite him into the base a little bit here by the NPC. Oh, I can't. No. How much time do I have left? I'm going to die. No, I'm not going to die. I'm fine. Bubble. He, sh he should have bubble left, and that's about it. On hands, Jesus fucking Christ. 
Red Paladins are, are just as fucking powerful. Well, he, he's on Forbearance, so now we have 30 seconds to kill him. Okay, how come I can't interrupt Flash of Light normally? As if it was a fucking arena or not. Now he bubbled. I guess I still have to spec into that shit where, um... Uh, you still have to spec into that crap where you have to, like, hit the shield, then interrupt with Avenger Shield in order to have Avenger Shield actually interrupt. Is that what that was called? Uh, Shield of Virtue, I think. Bring back say the tally. Nah, man, that's some old school shit. Ain't nobody care about that. I see that tally end in my account when they started to charge people for not logging in. Yeah, that was a little weird. Uh, obviously, you know, they were a sponsor of mine, so I didn't, I mean, I didn't actually log into my account for about, like, six months at one point. That's why right now, when I look today in my account, I had, like, 700 bucks in there from people buying my shit. I didn't even notice, so I have to, like, spend that or extract it or something before they take it. I don't know. I said, man, it's all good. No harm, no foul, bro. It wasn't a malicious leave or, you know... You know, it wasn't like a fuck you, suck my balls, you treated me wrong, I'm gonna leave, stuff like that. It was just time. Uh, Sloot, thank you very much for the host, my man. Everyone give a hammers up to Slooty McSloot bag. The Slooty of the McSloots. Give me, a, give me some. Give me some bagel bros. Give me some bagel bros. Give me, give me, give me the HD fist. There it is. It's on your banner. Yeah, the guy who does my graphics is not going to be home until like tonight, tomorrow. So the graph, the banner is still going to be there. Even the intro is still going to have it there. I have to adjust the intro. Honestly, it's just free advertising for them until I fix it. So that's why I made the post to make it official in that sense. Um, there it is, the Bagel Bros. Ooh, do I see? Do I see Star Falling Horde out here? How many of them are there? Oh, there's quite a few. There's quite a few. There is quite a few. Well, I'm gonna make them get up here first. A blood DK. I just lure them into the fucking base, bro. <laughs> it's like just lure them into the base. I, I, I can anger kite people. I call it anger kiting. I'm a, I'm a prop pally. I'm really hard to kill. So it's like I just anger kite them in. Okay, follow me. Follow me. Right into the base. Who's very Southwark character? Probably Towley, I would say. You give them 20 easily. I can go in there and like knock them all back. But I mean, unless I see our group pushing, then I'm not going to touch them. I mean, I could probably put a raid together, but it'll just lag this place out more than it already is. I'm gonna die here. I have a healer back here. Let me go fucking homeboy. Watch it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Usually somebody dies. Yeah, they're 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 retreating. Would I ever thought you'd see the horde retreating? Look at this shit. This was this wasn't like this a uh, month ago. Let me tell you. 
month ago, we just sat in our respawns and we're like, yeah, man. That's a yikes for me, dog. <laughs> like, oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. I, I need my 25 Slayer kill, bro. There you go. I killed a blood guard. I don't know what that is, but I killed him. <laughs> they are not the true horde. I did everything for the horde. Everything. I'm walking leveling fast then. Yeah, I'm gonna show you. I mean, I gotta log into my druid, but I'm trying to get this incursion done first. I don't miss incursions because I like getting to paragon boxes and I love paragon boxes. A <laughs> budget horde. <laughs> This quest is hard just trying to find the dudes to, uh, oh shit. Oh, no, oh, no. Immune, huh? We'll wait till that bubble's done and it's done now. Oh, there's some fighting going on over here. The left, the left. Oh, I think, I think I saw somebody over here. Oh yeah, I saw one. Oh, he died. Dude, he didn't even die to us. He died to like legit the other dudes. To the left, to the left. Need 15 more kills. Come on. Come on now. Oh, something's going on over there. Hi, warrior. Say hi to Prop Pally. Prop Pally says, hi, how are you today? A little bump up for you right there. A little bump for you right there. Oh yeah, he's gonna he's gonna take some more damage there. How much more does he take? He takes about six percent increased damage depending on how many times I can actually hit him. In case you're like up there as well. What was that? What the fuck was that? Oh, I'm in the wrong place. This is not good. Then we gotta lock down this healer here. Oh, chow. Yeah, where, where, where's the rest of the crew, bro? Where's the rest of the crew? <laughs> oh I kite these guys over to uh, everybody else. Oh, I got stunned. This might this might be the end of me, boys. If I can, just, if I can hold out for one more heal, perfect cleanse a couple of cleanses see me i just I, I could just kite them into everybody why because you're tally and they're like oh it's tally oh shit someone's about to die my bad summit summit's in the pit summit's in the pit that poor bastard there you go come 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 follow daddy come follow daddy oh yeah broke is smart <laughs> They're phasing out. Is that guy Vengeance? Can't tell. Oh yeah, he is. Is, is that Soul Bomb? Or Soul, oh, Soul Fragment's ready. Push forward! Into the portal. So do, do the other tanks have that same ability I have as a prot where you can, um, you know, where you can taunt them and they take more damage depending on how many melee swings they take from me. Do like, do other tanks have that too? Oh, this gameplay is so cool, isn't it? Hey bro, people wanted a, a, a world that's alive with world PVP. You got it now, bro, with incursions. Honestly, Blizzard should just be having incursions going on everywhere in the world. Incursions should be, like, literally at every fucking major, like, war point in the game. Like, no joke. Or more frequent, yeah. Oh, the, the taunt damage, I'm saying. 
this, this punk ass. Don't target me or talk to my son ever again, Moo Moo Mod. I need, I need five more kills. Oh, I, got, I still got to attend to like three wounded people. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Almost. It's been fun, man. War mode has been fun. But we'll, we'll see what happens once uh, flying is uh, implemented. You know, that, that may make or break or might just kill off that, you know, world PvP stuff. We'll see. Only a matter of time. Can't even mount right now. I'm still lagged up. Oh man, come on, I need like five more kills. Oh, they're like all the way down here. I got Leon hands up. Good so far. You going, Mo? Get out of here, Mo. Off my land, Mo. Got a nice set of 390 legs from the assault. Oh, nice, dude. Yeah, on. I got 395 legs, I think, on my warrior. No, no, on my death knight this morning. On the, uh. The Dark Shore shit. I got best of slot weapon on my warrior from Matal Dazar. First. My, my first. Box of hitting 120. So much crap, man. <laughs> it's, just, it's like whatever. Trying to trying to get the warrior. I can't get him. Oof, oof. Warlocks and uh, warlocks and huntards coming up. Free gear for everyone. Yeah, Be beautiful RNG is what I say. Slay horde players. Wait, what? Is that like a? Oh, that's ready. That's ready. That's a. Uh... Wait, it says call the arms Nazmir, but I completed it in Drusvar. Is that a bug or is that like normal? It's just worded different now or something. That makes no sense. What? Or <laughs> down the hill, let's go. Wait for that turtle to be over in like two seconds. And he's gonna die. That barrage, though, sometimes saves lives. There's Mo. There's Mo. More wants some Mo. Stream RNG. It, dude, my RNG has been fucking. I just, I just got my last uh, mount. When I started the stream uh, a couple, like half an hour ago. I got the the bat mount. On my first try. Well, not my first try, like my first try of the week, rather. Oh, against all, all against overwhelming odds is done. I am done. Okay, let's kill these last two. Gucci. Uh, where's this guy gonna be? Is he? Oh, where he is actually. Yeah, I think there really isn't a requirement anymore to killing in a certain zone. I remember them making a post about it saying that they were going to change it. You don't have to be like in any of the zones. You just kill 10 horde and you just get the quest mint pally. Nice. Uh, that, target will demoralize the horde that was a nice, nice little whatever they got there. Because they had the scythe. There's a group for this. Awesome is uh, outro quest to assaults. What do you mean? What's, what do you mean the outro quest? You mean like after you're done with it and you finish it up? It's pretty cool. It's way better than legions. I don't know. I think incursions like just smash legions uh, invasion system. For sure. But then again, 
If, uh, imagine if Legion had war mode, then maybe we can consider it the same. But then again, the, the quests are, are more condensed and located closer together. So you concentrate like everybody together, which is good for war mode, but bad for lag. So there, it has its perks and, and it has its faults. Let's carry Gerard. Gerard. Uh, top those DPS meters, man. Done? Done. Oh, well, this poor bastard. <laughs> Hope he can bubble hearth out. Now nah, he's dead. High Warlord right there. That was a High Warlord we killed, boys. He was brave. He was brave as a High Warlord should be, you know? Holy shit. Okay. Leave party. Leave party. Might be just as just as bad. I'm still phased in here, aren't I? Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> oh my god. There's so many people. Oh, that's all here. Hold on. I'm gonna horse through all of them. Horsing through, boys, horsing through. Oh, crap. Yeah, this, this, this is wicked as fuck. Where, where, where's the exit out of here? Was that was that one for gold? Yeah, screw that. I'll, I'll finish that later. Kill them all. I don't know, man. I think we're going to be overrun here for a little bit. I can't tell how many of us there are. We're gripping them in. We got like six mages over there. God damn, so many of them, dude. Is that all Area 52? Oh, oh shit. Oh, all right. That, 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 that guy wants it. That hunter wants it real bad. Kiting back to the base, boys. Kiting back to the base. <laughs> Yikes. Hey, you know what? You know, sometimes you just gotta know when to get out. You know, fuck all that honor shit. I'm not a horde. <laughs> Otar Ogar, suck my balls. I'm out of here. I gotta finish my shit. Oh my goddamn Azerite armor. <laughs> this is where it is, yeah. Fight them for the Alliance. Yeah, I'm gonna fight nothing for the Alliance. I'm gonna fight... I'm gonna fight some... Some Azerite gear. Uh, Wrecker, Wrecker UK. Appreciate that, man. Hammers up. I was just in that and saw you. Oh, I think a lot of people saw me. No, I, I think I think on every single uh, invasion, there is like a, you know, some sort of what you would call a, um, like a streamer detector. <laughs> People detect the streamers playing. Oh my god, it's Asmin. Go kill him. It's Tally. It's Zaryu. It's Looney. Fuck him up. Yeah, it's like a hit squad. It's like a pure hit squad. Uh, okay, I thought I need that. Yeah, I'll, I'll be very happy to get out of here. Or from PvP yet? No, that's not happening. If it happens, it'll be like in the last patch or something. It'll be something Blizzard will test, you know, toward the end of the expansion. I don't see them testing that, like, anytime soon. We're going to get heroic Warfronts, where it's going to be supposedly more difficult, because we have to group up with uh, a pre-made of at least 10 to complete it. But I don't think it's going to be that crazy. We'll see. Who knows? Maybe it is. Maybe like it requires like you know healers and shit and, or whatever. I just mean the guild named Gankers. We would stalk Swifty everywhere. Jesus. 
I mean, Swifty does roll with like 90 healers most of the time, so I mean, it's really hard to kill him. <laughs> it's like, get a rate of like him and like nine healers, you'll never get that man. You'll never, that man will never die. Do you play anymore? Yeah. Yes, please. Uh, wait, did, did, did he end up going to Korea with Chinglish, or did, was it Chinglish going by himself on this time? Yo, who saw Chinglish's uh, Twitter video discussing the, the, the new Twitch uh, rules for Overwatch channel and stuff? I almost pissed myself. That shit was so funny. Dude, I could play it in a bit here. Find it on his feed. I forgot how much I hate installing games on my PS4 Pro side to get rid of every dungeon since it was 50% off and open box item. Gonna take three hours to install from the discs. Oh, discs. Yuck, bro. As the internet would say, that's a yikes for me, dog. Yeah, I, I, I can't remember the last disc I have owned for PlayStation in general. Do I can find it? Um, uh, Chinglish TV. Uh, no, that's not it. Oh, yeah, this is the one. Okay. Yeah, this is pretty good. Show you guys. It's actually pretty hysterical. World and cat. Oh. Huh. Hello, Internet World and cat. Educationalist here. I'm here to tell you about the new Overwatch rules in regards to Twitch. As you can tell, I'm an Overwatch expert. I got an Overwatch hat on. I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step on how to not get banned with the new rules. So I made a step-by-step -step guide for you guys because there seems to be heaps of confusion. Don't be a dick. You're welcome. <laughs> I mean, is he wrong, though? I mean, seriously, that's it. That's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. Yeah, don't be a dick. Nice PSA. Oh shit, the hoarder up in here. They just got rolled. They just got rolled. They got rolled hard by the NPCs in here, is what they did. That's fucking that that's hysterical. Oh wait, I gotta turn this one in here. I had to turn on, turn that one in on the base. He speaks the truth. But should you lose your Blizzard games on Bound ever being a dick on Twitch? I mean... I don't know, man. If you if you consent to... Oh, shit. Nice. Nice. Uh, was that a shield? Do I even have that? Uh, I have that already. Not a bad shield. 380. But, I mean, I don't need it. I don't think so. Let me see. Uh, yeah, I already have a haste mastery shield. That one was a haste mastery shield lower on the haste side. I mean, I, I mean, you 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 pose a great question, like you know, should Blizzard be looking to ban people outside of the realm of the in game? But then again, you could get banned on the forums in WoW for being a douchebag. On the forums, though, you can get banned in game for speaking up in general chat and talking shit. I mean, like I said, man, if there's one thing I know about Jeff Kaplan from just talking to him personally at events and just say he hates toxic people. He hates he hates toxicity. And I think he's doing everything he can to make Overwatch like non toxic. As a matter of fact, I think he's trying a little too hard. I mean, I'm not saying that this thing he's doing now is going to stick. It's experimental to see what happens. But 
might create a better viewing experience. Or their viewers just might tank and go down 50% and then they're going to have to realize that Twitch is just, you know, when it comes to big events and big channels and big time streamers, it's just a meme spammy mess. You know? And then you have to, and then you think about it, like, who are they going to put in charge of moderating the chat and decide who gets reprimanded? You know, like, is it is it going to be GMs monitoring the chat? Is it uh, a bot or something? You know, Latano 1904, appreciate it. You know, it's like when you're a streamer, you always have those decisions that you make. If you're like a single streamer, like, are you going to let your stream be complete chaos and you get a reputation for being a guy who just has a really shitty chat and not a really combined community? Or are you going to have a more controlled channel? Sometimes, you know, it's easier just to handle controlled chaos and not just separate chaos and control, you know? Let's get real. Banning uh, Pepe is quite a ridiculous thing to do. Any Pepe? What does that mean? Just don't be racist. Pretty much. Yeah, check. I don't really care about that. That doesn't really bother me or World of Warcraft. So <laughs> it's it's one of those irrelevant issues. Oh, yeah, or they can make a bot. I said, I don't know how they're going to handle it. I mean, I'll link my battle net. I think my balance already linked on Twitch anyway, so. All right, let's see. Asmir. Sweet and overwhelming odds. Look at that free thousand AP horde. Thank you for participating in war mode every week. Nice. All right. What's this for? What is a quartermaster's bounty? Where do you even get quartermaster's coins from? Uh... Exchange for a, a bound board sigil from blah, blah, blah. is that from like uh, the the brawlers like dueling shit or something? What's that for? Oh, bonus roll for arenas. Oh, I gotcha. I didn't know that bonus roll shit. Like Warframe, like Warframe rewards viewers for linking their uh, Warfront account and some in-game goodies. Why don't they do that stuff like that for a while? I don't know. I mentioned it last week. It's kind of weird. Like every single Blizzard game has had some sort of reward with Twitch Prime or Twitch in general or just watching. But WoW doesn't get anything. It's it's just odd. Yeah, like WoW doesn't get any any of those benefits. I've always wondered why. Like, why don't they get, you know, all that shit? Any embers? Embers, let me kill the world boss. I haven't done him yet. Let me log into my burr for a little bit. Well, yeah, sure, but that... Losing executives and stuff at Blizzard, you know, like that are important, but I just don't think they're important on our level. Like, I don't think that guy leaving the company to go to Netflix is going to affect whether or not we're going to get, like, a really good raid next expansion or something. You know what I'm saying? I haven't spoken to Big C in years. Years. Lots of years. What is he? Is, is he giving you AP? Ooh, 750 AP with 30%. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, yeah. I mean, probably for the company themselves, they probably have some internal thing they have to figure out. But I mean, for me, what? Am I not going to get 8.15 on time because some CFO got laid off? You know? It's not that I know where it's at. It's just, you know, logic. Now, let's say there was, like, a mass exodus of developers out of WoW. Let's say, like, 
Ian, Alex Afraziabi, you know, all those lead designers, uh, you know, Muffinist or whatever, Feasel, forgot his name. They all just bounce and they go work for like EA or something. <laughs> and that would be a little concerning. That'd be like, whoa, well, okay. Now we should probably figure out what's going to happen here. You know? You know, you're like, this is gonna, this is affecting me. How? <laughs> Every wild developer Twitter post is commented by complainers. Oh, of course. Open social media, bro. What else are they gonna do? I mean, that, that's a place where you can voice your opinion. Or you can go to the forums, and no one likes to go to the forums anyway. Terror wall. Terror! I mean, if anything, I mean, I don't know, man. I, I would expect in the next couple of years, there should be a big layoff on the WoW team. I mean, I don't hope there is because you never hope that anyone gets laid off. But WoW team is the biggest team they have. It is huge. What is it like 200 and something plus workers, almost 300 now, counting all uh, GMs, CMs, developers, community management team. They're a big fucking team. Of course, big fucking team for the game that makes them the most money kind of makes sense. You're going to keep investing into the game that keeps on, you know, bringing in the coin. About 400, I thought. Yeah, it's a pretty big fucking team. And the reason why I think they're so big now is because, you know, they're always working on the next expansion. They, they you know, they want those expansions every two years. And they're going to do it, too. Like, every other BlizzCon will be an announcement for a new expansion for WoW. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if some of the Heroes of the Storm devs got moved on to World of Warcraft for some other projects and shit. Arsenal makes the most money. You are so wrong. They don't, actually. It actually don't. Not even close. Hearthstone hasn't been part of like the top 10 in revenue sales for PC games in about like two years, dude. World of Warcraft, and not just by a little, by far still makes Blizzard the most amount of money from the Blizzard titles. Not counting Candy Crush, obviously. Candy Crush makes an absurd amount of money. Yeah, it would be WoW, then Overwatch, then um, then Hearthstone, then the rest of the games. Hey, finally, Jesus. I got golden AP out of it. I got no complaints. All right, let me log into my burr. Log into my burr. Thank I'm gonna spend 500 bucks playing Candy Crush. I don't know how. Jesus Christ, 500 dollars? <laughs> I can't find out how much Classic is gonna make them compared to the small investment. I mean, I can guarantee you, Classic will make them a lot of money for the first like six months of his existence for sure. The thing is, like, it's gonna create a spurt, right? And the crazy part is that because Classic is a long grind, people are more prone to, or actually more likely to probably stay subbed longer to the game overall to then play Classic later on again while they're playing retail or vice versa, whatever works. But the thing is, like, that's the best, like, like that quarter, which I think is going to be quarter three for Blizzard for WoW is going to be, like, probably the best numbers there they have seen in years i would say once you combine like the hype of the new expansion being announced you know finally bfa coming into its own already mid mid spring with all the new raids coming out and shit it's gonna be some crazy shit and the thing is you know it, w if you're blizzard you don't really call it classic or bfa you say world of warcraft is performing better than ever because they're they, they don't want to separate the two 
in, when they talk publicly about it. They want to make sure that the entity known as World of Warcraft is very dominant right now. That's when you sell your stocks. I mean, if, if I don't even I don't even know where they're at right now, but if they go below like 35, I, I'm, I'm fucking buying because <laughs> I'm waiting for that third quarter. I'm going to bank. I think Blizzard people will go back to classic and blow through all the content with ease. I think a lot of people will. A lot of won't. You know, like I said, very time consuming, very, you know, you need a lot of dedication to, to even remotely um, be a part of what you would call like the true end game. And you got to be in a good guild. You can't be like a solo minded player like a lot of people that play retail for the last like eight years and think that you're going to be successful in classic because you're not. I mean, you're going to be like most of the classic players pre probably patch 10.10. Where it was like, all right, well, I'm still doing dungeons because I can't get into raids. So I'm just going to keep doing dungeons and PvPing for rank and shit. And that's all you can really do. That's it. That's all you got. <laughs> it's like your options are very minimal. Like classic is going to be, you know, option one, you go fucking hard. Option two, you don't go fucking hard. And, and the sub options of one are once you go hard, you don't stop. Because if you stop, then you're behind. Option two is you just have a good time. Anyway, uh, anyone want to do some time walking? Let me know. Any Anyone with uh, good legendary compositions? Let me uh, get rid of my bracers and put my cloak on. That way I can get the healing from the nature damage. I just need two time walking for the quest. Sure. Let's have once in. Well, of course, I mean, yeah, Conrad, that will definitely be the best part of Classic, that the content won't be relevant because all you have is Azeroth. All you have is the two continents. That's it. You have nowhere else to go. There is no Outlands. There is no Pandaria or Northrend or Legion or Broken Isles or, you know, Cold Terrace or Zandalar. Yeah, of course. I mean, that's 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 logical. You make a guild, you like loot slaves. Oh my god. Zizani Zani wants in. Yeah, I mean, they're gonna, they're, they're definitely gonna gate the hell out of Classic because Classic was gated. I mean, just because we've been through all the raids already, or some of us have been, doesn't mean that Classic should launch with all the raids. It should be progressive. It should be like, you're gonna get Molten Core and all these things. For the first like six months, then we're gonna open up BWL, then the gates, then all this, then all that. But I'm saying like that that in itself, that is the hard part about classic is knowing that you have to have a lot of allocated time to classic. And for some people like myself, honestly, and I know a lot of people agree with me, and a lot of people are new to Classic, so they'll, they'll be having a lot of fun for the first time. It, you, I mean, you have a choice between justifying either playing in, uh, an, you know, a version of a game you've already played, maybe dominated and raided with, against, you know, possibly, like, you know, the new Nazoth raid is out. And it's like, I, I can't choose Classic over that. Like, that, that, that would be, like, doesn't make sense. You know, for me, it doesn't make sense. Like just just dinging 60 will be like my nostalgic factor. And then after that, I'm pretty much done. Uh, one of y'all have to heal, by the way. I don't know who's going to heal. One of y'all have to heal. Because I think we have four DPS in here. <laughs> Something. Sev's healing. I called it Sev's healing. Oh, shit. Uh, the potion for the Warfront persists while you're logged off. Fuck, I didn't even know that, dude. That's messed up. Because the Reddit post about Tally shitting on Classic again. I'm not. I'm just speaking logically for myself. What are you doing? Oh, I need my protein.
This was water. Take it. That's it. Now I know he will follow you down there. Squeak, 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 squeak. <laughs> I mean, I'm, there's no way I'm going to redo the entire grind for fucking any any rank, you know, 10 through 14. There's no fucking way. I think my goals are pretty simple in Classic. It's just hit 60 and join a guild and raid a little bit here and there. I mean, if I have, like I said, if I have the time, like if we're in like a nice little two or three month, uh, I guess, like raid break or drought, which I doubt we're going to be in, you know. Then, yeah, so be it. Can't click on the thing. Anyone else click on the shit? Yeah, I got about two levels and 69... Uh, earlier. Oh, shit. Dude, that, that, that bleed is destructive. You could get Scarabloid if you wanted. You have a big enough stream. Nah, I doubt it. Like I said, man, those to me aren't my goals. Like, I really have no personal goals in Classic, but just to have fun. I guess to me, mentally, it, it's just knowing that there is a beginning and there is going to be an end. And after that end, there's nothing else besides maybe the announcement of, like, you know, Burning, uh, burning Crusade. That, that's that's my problem. You know, all the people hoping that there's going to be DLC for Vanilla, like, that's, that, that's just not in their goals to have. They're going to see how popular Classic is. Then they're going to be like, yo, imagine if we bust out BC. That is going to destroy WoW. In terms of, like, like in a good way. Like, it's going to it's gonna be destructively amazing. Yep. Backwards talk. Destructively amazing. Thank you for the two scoopers. Happy New Year. Want to get high? Not tonight. <laughs> Lula's like, Sure. Oh, don't get me wrong. Like I said, I, I already called it. BC, BC Classic servers uh, will definitely destroy Classic populations by far. There will be more people sub to WoW to play BC than there would be to play Classic. 100%. Classic is like nostalgia and like, you know, endless grind that really almost a lot of people can't tolerate. Whereas BC is going to be some next level shit. Like if I were to tell people, you ask me, Tally, what era of WoW would you want people to remember the most? I say Burning Crusade. Because that to me was like the most overall balanced, uh, most like enjoyable time with a lot of content that did not require like an insane amount of grinding, but just enough to make everything worth it. No, I started in vanilla from day one. Yeah, I said before, vanilla, we were all infants. BC, we became adults. I can just click on this portal. <laughs> Hold on, guys. I, I, okay. There we go. Wrath over BC. No way. I would, dude, I wouldn't even play Wrath. Wrath is too fucking easy. Wrath is too damn easy. Just the dungeons with Resident Sleeper, my ass. Alone. I had the best class design. Uh, I don't know about that. I don't know about all that, homie. 
I mean, we could argue maybe Pandaria is up there for class design. I don't know about Wrath. I think toward the end of Legion, it was pretty good, too. Yeah, I mean, it's easy to say that if your class was OP during Wrath of the Lich King, that's when you remember it. Like, for me, I remember... Don't get me wrong. Even for me, as a prop paladin, you know, Burning Crusade wasn't when prop paladins were amazing. Prop paladins were still coming into their own in BC. They were, they were barely Sunwell tanks. You know? It wasn't until Trial of the Grand Crusader and Wrath where we, we became, like, really overpowered. Where everybody wanted the prop Paladin for their raids and shit. Let's go. TOGC Blood DK DPS. No, but I remember uh, TOGC then slash Wrath of the Lich King uh, Icy Touch threat bullshit that lasted for like three months until Blizzard fixed it. Where all a, all a DK had to do was, was click Icy Touch on their bars and they ripped aggro off of any tank. It caused so many problems during raids that we had to like Almost bench our fucking death knight. Moon guard. What is that? Engage the Echo Tyranda uh, after surviving the Shadow Gauntlet without allowing the party's healer to take any damage. Oh. Okay. Sure. Go me. Live in Vegas, Gavrong. Uh, no. California. I wish I lived in Vegas. Yeah, last patch of BC. I mean, I remember uh, after 3.0, Rep Paladins were broken for two weeks. I think I'm pretty sure, and I have to ask my friend, I think when we did kill KJ for the first time, I was Rhett. Because how overpowered they were. And I was the only other paladin with a lot of good gear that could play Rhett. <clears throat> I'm, I'm, I don't know if I tanked or if I Rhetted one or the other. But yeah, Rhett was pretty dumb. Nice. Nice boots. Uh, where is the thing? Healer can't take damage if there's no healer. Uh, We don't have a healer? fuck <laughs> yeah, damn it sev well, at least silence these dudes for me so I don't die there we go I noticed there was tree and so I'm like, wait, who else is? I mean, I'm not Boomkin. Who's who's booming right now? Here's some Hearthstone, Mister. What's going on? Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, Vegas seems like a good place that I want to move to, man. Because there's nice houses there, really cheap. But the problem is, man, you gotta like just moving this entire house over there. I wonder how much that would cost. Not even cost. I mean, just. You know, we probably need like five moving trucks to get this place somewhere else. Uh, I rolled unstoppable rep prop uh, dual spec in wrath, dude. Man, wrath of the Lich King PvP for me, dude. Prot holy was one of the most annoying things to do. I I never played. I played prot holy once, and it was stupid damage. Simon! 
Well, all right. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yeah, this guy hits pretty fucking hard without a healer, let me tell you. <laughs> he hits super hard. That's okay. I'm pretty sure you guys are just going to let me die. I'm hitting this fucking shit. Screw everybody. To repeat the same action, they expect different results. It's madness. Welcome to the internet. Dang. Yeah, so that was 243,000 experience. Uh, plus whatever I got. Like, plus whatever I got. All right. But shit, you guys need one more, right? So a lot of you guys need one more. Hey, hold on, hold on. Yeah, everyone queue from in here, please, so we can all queue together. It's easier this way. Thank you. Oh, that's a lot. I know. <laughs> it is a lot. Ooh, stone core. I hated this dungeon. Yeah, there was parts of this dungeon that really weren't likable. You know, for instance, you know, like the uh, the pack before the Earth dude was uh, the trash was pretty bad. You know, when you couldn't one shot the sentries and then the sentries got away because you pulled too much, like you'd fucking pull everything and then it was a wipe. Luckily, you know, they 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 started the whole thing I think in Kata where you were able to you know kind of take shortcuts in dungeons. You know, after you die, you got the little portals that took you back or whatever. Wasn't that bad, though. Has anyone been to Disneyland in California within the last, like, couple months? I'm looking for some... Some... And some good rides advice. I know there's a lot of rides there now. Trying to see it's me and my girlfriend's uh anniversary and we're gonna be spending two days in Disney at their like whatever big grand resort and spa. It's gonna be pretty exciting. Nine years executus. How's that? Um, how's the Guardians of the Galaxy Two thing? There's a there's like a Guardians of the Galaxy Two experience. Is that, is that a ride? It looks like a haunted mansion thing, really. The Grand California, yeah, yeah, Grand California. Just expensive, yo. <laughs> Straight up. That place is bananas. So you just stamp Disney on anything, bro. They could charge you whatever they want. It's the way it works. It's a Tower of Terror, just Guardians. Oh, okay. Yeah, we got like a crazy deal, like all park pass stuff. It's like mega pass, mega plus plus pass. Yeah, we're getting there early too. Like, uh, and it's cool because if you like, if you stay at the hotel, you get to go into the park an hour earlier before general admission, which is fucking cool. The super mega ultra pass. Yeah, exactly.
great if we had a healer. <laughs> Again, max pass, totally worth it. I have something that's like above max pass. It's like max pass plus some other shit. It's like where you get all the free photos and you get, you know, you can take as many photos as you want with park people and, you know, you get to schedule rides and shit on your phone and you get to be there an hour before the park opens. It's like a whole like deal you get with it. Uh, loose one, 73 months. Thank you for that strong support, amigo. Thank you. Happy New Year's. Happy New Year's to you in the chat. Happy New Year's to everybody. We keep Netflix and pay for the Disney streaming service or dump one. I don't care. <laughs> I mean, if there's something I want to watch on Disney, I'll just buy the Disney one. I'm dumping Netflix, bro. Netflix is way too many good shows. Be a dump. Saying right here, because I'm going to die if I don't. Hey, what happened to what happened to Apu? Did he just die? I wasn't paying attention. I was just reading chat. Don't get the mount. No mount. Stargirls is different now. You can get different missions each time you go, so it's not always the same experience. I haven't done any of that. I want to do anything that's Marvel and Star Wars related. Everything and anything. I mean, we're going to be at that park from like 8 in the morning till like whenever. Apparently, there's, uh, during Christmas and New Year's now, there's also a parade that goes through the entire Disney area um, between like, I think from one's at 3.30, one's at 8 o'clock at night. It's almost like in Vegas when they do the water show at the Bellagio. Oh god, not the fire on the ground. That's just, that, that used to one-shot people, that ground, ground fire thing. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh crap. Yeah, we're gonna die here. If you have treants, if so, now would be the perfect time to pop it. See, quick little portal. Thank you, DJ Grizz. Appreciate it. Dude, we, we're not using any healers, bro. We have no healers right now. We're kind of just winging it at this point. Seth was like, yeah, I'll heal. And he's like, and then I see trans everywhere, and I'm like, that was fucked.
Yeah, that one gives a good amount of experience. It's a, it's a combined 300 plus uh, per um, <clears throat> like per dungeon you do, which I think is way more than a normal mode dungeon would give you. Yeah, it's the completion that gives you a good but Like I said, man, if, if you have friends that know how to min-max the dungeons, then you're going to have a good time. I might actually be looking for people. Um, that are in the queue, don't want to do time walking, that have like, you know, decked out legendaries and shit. Ozru. Oh, Uh, thank you, Lulubu, for gifting subs to Kapora and DM Wicked. Appreciate that. an AOE effect that I'm missing here. I, I had a trouble early. Like, I feel like I can't. There used to be like a little area of effect that you're supposed to run out of, and I just don't see it anymore. I more badges galore. You got a lot of time watch badges though for doing this, and you also get a good chance at um and that mount, man. That mount's kind of rare, and everybody has it. Uh, thank you, Pally of Hell. Six months in a row. Thank you, Pally of Hell. Appreciate it. Thank you, uh, Stell One. That was easy. A good chance. Man, I keep seeing a lot more people with that mount, though. With the uh, Time Reaver or whatever. <laughs> that fucking trinket, though. 232. That might be an upgrade. Hold on. God. Can you, can you get any more of those? Like, any more Chaos Orbs, please. I need more of them. All right, so uh, let, let me leave instance group and see who needs some and who doesn't need some. This has got about 50% of leveling doing one time walking. Damn. Yeah, I mean, I've done two. This, let's see, I went from about, when did I start this one? At like 5%. So I went up 40% just in one dungeon. Yes, so once again, that was 247,000 EXP plus whatever dungeon clearance. It's just about 300k. All right, anybody else uh, want to... I need a healer. I need a healer for time walking, please. <laughs> yeah, if any healers are here, I need a healer real bad. Where's that other potion? Oh, you know, I didn't even use the potion. Wait, I swore I used the potion. I also have the healer. No, 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 no. You stay on your mage. We just, we just need a heal. We, we, we just queue into a healer. Well, Sev didn't heal. He, we were four DPS in this shit, so <laughs> it was fucking crazy. Mm. 
First time uh, since the launch of BFA, I just uh, shut war mode off. The Alliance are pests that dress for us all at the moment. That's what I like to see, bro. No offense, but that's what I like to see. I, li I like to see y'all shutting off that war mode and nice and mad about it. I don't mind, boys. I don't mind. Uh, thank you, Satin Daddy. All right, who's a Sherba? Is that you? Uh, what's your name? Uh, Wibbly Wobbly? Wibbly. Okay, so I'll just queue. We, we'll get a pug DPS. See if we get lucky. How's your workout today? Fucking good, man. Shoulders. Shoulders hurt. Shoulders are killing me. Probably killing me more in the morning. Squeak, 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 squeak. Ooh. We haven't done this one yet. Vortex Pinnacle. Damn. This will be a lot of EXP here. A lot of EXP. What's going to suck, though, is the trash at the end with the adepts and shit. Like, that's going to be terrible. That part is not tuned properly. I know because I've done this during the last time walking. It was pretty bad. Got me of Grumpus finally. Oh, nice. I got me of Grumpus as a uh, Secret Santa gift last year. So I have that mount. You, do you know that mount's selling for like 600k right now? How do you get that mount? Do you have to open it up in a tre in a box in the under the tree every day or something? You get lucky. I, th I thought you had to kill like a rare or something for it. So pretty bad, the Adas part. No, this is gonna be really bad. So we're gonna have to like almost maybe possibly CC. Got banished. Unreal. <laughs> Come on now. I thought it was like a hundred K. Damn. That's it, man. I have a code for a model Drake. I just don't know if I want to sell it yet. People are saying it doesn't really sell for a lot. I see. I saw someone put it up for gold cap, and I'm like, man, I should maybe accept the the code, try and sell it, maybe for like a little bit under gold cap, gold cap like eight million. Now, I don't want to get into an undercutting war with the person who put it up for ten million. I'll take it. I'll go. I'll go into a bidding war. Nah, man. I mean, yeah. One of my viewers gave me that as a fucking prize, and uh, as like a you know like a holiday gift, and I was like, dude, that's fucking awesome. I already he already knows I have it, so he was like, sell it, so you can make some more gold, so you can buy the other mounts in the game. And I'm like, fuck yeah. Uh, the modeled Drake, M O T T L E D Drake, like um, I can check how much it is after. Go with this dungo.
Umbral Glaze, man. Still extremely OP, no matter what. That 5k burst and all those little mini ads. No potion buff, though. Oh, yeah, I'll do it. Uh, thank you, LS Breed. Appreciate it. Why are these guys taking so long to kill? Come on, Jesus fuck. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, did you really get 50% uh, from leveling of time walking? Uh, almost, like 40-something. I've been saying it for, like, weeks now, bro. I, 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 it's fucking broken. Like, I don't think it's giving us the right values. I think what it's, I think what it might be doing, and hear me out, I think this is what the problem is. I think that your war mode buff is actually counting towards the end experience. Because normally, when you look at it, 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 it says it's only supposed to give me 110,000 EXP. But at the end, it gives me 247K. That's a lot. That's a lot. Like, where is that other other multiplier coming from? Like, wh what? Like, yeah, way better than invasions. Yes, that, I mean, that's why I'm taking advantage of it now as much as I can. There, there, there are no heirlooms, though. I have no heirlooms. There's no heirlooms for 110 plus that give you experience, bro. That's 110. So it's not heirlooms either. It's legitimately, I think it's counting war mode. When it's not supposed to. Oh yeah, when's Dark Moon? Dark Moon Fair is uh, soon. Is it this week? Oh yeah. Oh, that's gonna be great. I level my DK on that day. Once again, I mean, it, it is a little tedious to run Cata Dungeons, but I mean, a normal group should not be wiping you. You know? Well, Dark Moon gives you 10% experience and 10% rep buff 60 minutes. So you can buy the little hats that you can keep uh, getting it over and over and over again. Think this will implement some changes in Mythic Plus rewards. Yeah, we 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 ranted about it this morning. Hopefully, hopefully they do. Hopefully they do. Uh, might just make a post on the on the forums for that one too and see what kind of response we get. Any more AP? No, I'm talking about AP, mounts, titles, the same things that PvPers get. Look, man, I'm like LeBron James, bro. I just want equality. Equality! Equality! I just want equality. You know, you know, TLDR of this morning's rant was, if you're going to call Mythic Plus a season, then treat it like a season and give us rewards for it. Don't call it a season and then not give us anything. Whereas PvPers, it, it, it gets called a season for PvPers, and they get all rewards. Bounce titles, all kinds of shit. We don't get anything at all. So, yeah, there's definitely, as I would say, like a, a, a huge disparity between what I think they consider a season and I consider a season. I mean, those are, once again, things that I think they can do that will greatly improve Mythic Plus and also entice a lot of people to push further and better themselves in, in Mythic Plus.
Yeah, or even like I uh, remember challenge rewards. Remember challenge challenge rewards got like a special transmog and that uh, was an MOP. Like they should bring that back too. Like it's another little system that I don't understand why they haven't really gone back to it at all. That should be on all craft. I probably shouldn't. <laughs> let's uh let's say I was and say and not go. Okay. All right, bro. Hmm. I'm pretty sure they will interview everyone that's a content creator five times over before I you, you'll ever see me there. No offense. No offense, but offense. Ah, shit. All right, don't get hit by the wind. Wait, uh, there we go. And don't stand in front of the, the chilling breath either. That's going to hurt. Oh, God. Right now, Zani, you don't have the buff. You get a haste increase by about 100%. And this boss is very easy until you touch the fucking tornado and then one shot you. Yeah. Mount for anybody? I have this mount too, so I don't need it. No mount. Aw. Poop. I should get dissenting opinions, meaning someone who is having fun and wow meeting you. Yeah, I mean, I would definitely bring a lot of balance to their conversations, but you know. I don't know. Like I said, man, just, it's not my, not, not my kind of environment, not my kind of jam. I'll basically talk about how I'm having fun and the stuff that I like about WoW, and then they're going to try to convince me how bad it is and all this other stuff. And I'll counter their arguments with pure logic, and then they'll just keep trying to convince me that everything's terrible. So it's like, it'll be one of those, like, I'll just get frustrated. It, it it would be like Shannon and Skip, pretty much. Wait, do we want to CC them outside of that thing or inside of that thing? It's outside of that thing you want to CC them, right? Kill the adept. Adept needs to die first. Once the adepts are dead, then we're good. Shit. So one of you is going to bring up LeBron the whole argument and take shots at him. No, I'll just bring up the Cowboys and then argue with Skip for like 10 hours about how the Cowboys suck balls. I interrupt Skull. Somebody else has interrupt the X. Skull's mine. Now X is mine. Never mind. X is not mine. Repeat, X is not mine. Shockwave is really annoying. Ah, fuck. Uh, 
I died. <laughs> That's a death right there. This lightning lash is a pain in the ass too, though, let me tell you. Well, it's too bad we survived it, ish. I've seen worse than bugs. Yeah, like I said, though, man, I really, I just have no interest on being on it. That's all. Hey, maybe for the next expansion or something. Who knows? Time walking is like, um, I don't know, is it 335 or for Warforge for this shit? And, or maybe 350? I don't know. People keep trading me uh, three, let's see, 335 loot, it looks like. Heart of Azeroth. Oh, you know what? I don't have my Heart of Azeroth. That's kind of weird. I should probably get my Heart of Azeroth. <laughs> I just noticed I don't have it. <laughs> my life guys after this give me a second so i get my heart real quick yeah i was like wait a second oh shit forgot about that little triangle thing i heard uh queen got unbanned though did he get i heard he got unbanned from uh, POE this morning. Oof, almost dinged. I right, give me a sec, let me get my heart of Azeroth. Which I should be right here for, right? I reckon I heard. Yeah, I already have the I have the potion already on there, bro. Hmm. This little peanut butter and chocolate bits at the end of this protein shake are the best thing in the world. Damn, it's so fucking good. All right. Oh, not bad. 20k EXP. I'll take it. It's my flying thing. Six, five. Grizzly Hills music. For the win. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm going to skip. And go right to Magni for sure. And no doubt. I have heard this story before. Uh... Oh, okay. I'm like, wait, which one of you tell me that I've heard the story before? <laughs> like, which one of you is that? Champion, I have to talk to you about healing the wounds. The wounds need help. Wounds. Cries out for her wounds. Little do we know Magni's really dead. And that's the that's an avatar of Nazoth as Magni. Little do we know. Heal those wounds, Tally. I'm gonna damn well try. Spoiler alert. I 
Actually, I think this quest might ding me. How much how much EXP do you get from this quest? Like 30k, 40k? Mm. At the end of it? Yeah. Time to go after the uh Time to go after the bits. Here we go. Come on. Huh. Huh. Oh, okay. Success, kid. Uh, <laughs> she thought I was choked. Right. She thought I was choking. Lula thought I was choking. Because Oni was trying to guide Lula to me. She thought I was. Look at Oni. Oni thought something was wrong with me. How cute is that? Like, Oni perked up and just ran over to me when she heard the, the sounds. 2,000 bits. Get, get, thank you, man. Happy New Year's. Wow, 2K19. Saying 2K19 and 2K19. Everything we've been doing is so far is just weakening Azeroth for a takeover. Wouldn't that be a trip? I mean, I feel like it's going to be something like that. I can see it happening for sure. I mean, like I said, if you read the book, you see what Azerite does to you. Once you once you're in possession of it. So I mean if this is what happens, if Azerite's just being spilled all over the world from this big wound, then we're just kind of re empowering her with some possible corruption. They overshot. <laughs> this is Blinktron. Hold on. Hold on now. Damn it. Best comment today. I guess people on live stream fails are going to have to come up with a new nickname for Tally. Rip G2 Andy. Bad face. Rip G2 Andy. Oh, people on the internet are funny. Oh, you're funny, man. You're funny. Yeah. Hey, press F. Press F. Why am I only getting 2,000 EXP for this? Wait, do I have the neck on already? I guess I do. Morning, good morning, dude. You know what's funny though? Like after I, I I put out the news about it, a lot of other streamers that I used to talk to a lot, like, or contact me saying, you know, good shit, bro, or whatever, and I'm like, oh. I guess. Okay, you've changed. Maybe some other streamers are like, yo, can't be seen playing with Tally, bro, that G2A guy. No? <laughs> now, now, now it's okay to hang. Now it's okay to hang. It's like the cool kids club. Like, you're back in it now. It's like, it's like going back to 2013. Everything's cool. Everything's cool. They, they can now hang out with the infidel. Um, no, that's way too much. Nah, head, uh, shoulders. All right, I'm good. So all, all I need is this shit, right? That's it. I don't even know what the druid things are. Uh, zooming gore grants you 220 mastery for five seconds and 15 chance to activate gore. Yeah, sure. Alright, re-queuing. Let's roll. Best trait. Oh, is it? Gore is when you proc Mangle, right?
What is that? Well, like, what's wrong with G2A? I mean, with me and them, nothing. I just, you know, decided not to continue working with them this year. That's all. Uh, let's see. There you go. E easy post to follow. Yeah, like I said, they might still be in my info, but that's just because the person who does my shit hasn't updated it for me yet. But all my banners should already be updated, like on Twitter, YouTube, uh, offline message should all be updated. The intro's never going to get updated. Glad you aren't with them anymore. Oh, yeah. This is what it is. Yeah, I mean, this morning, there were people who messaged me on Discord afterwards saying, hey, now I could watch you because you're not with them anymore. I'm like, really? Okay. <laughs> I'm like, sure. Tally viewership goes up 2%. <laughs> Like, the intro for 19. Well, the thing is, I don't pay for my intros. I refuse to pay for my intros. Intros are the most overpriced thing that um, freelancers and companies charge for, for streamers. So unless someone makes me a fan-made intro, like, all my, like I said, all my intros since I've ever started streaming have all been fan-made. I've never paid for it. I've paid for sub notifiers, obviously, and, like, graphics and shit. But uh, yeah, I'm, I, I refuse to pay for an intro. Intros are so expensive. I think they quoted me. Uh, they quoted my intro. Uh, one company at like 8K. 8, 8K, dude. It was fucking bananas, yeah. No, because it, it, it's a full intro with the song and everything, so... I'm gonna swallow your kids. You should pay artists, bro. Yeah, but artists don't. Uh, some of those artists don't make videos, though. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. Yeah, like like I said, every intro I've had fan made, fan made. They've been awesome. It was like three view. Three of my, three of my viewers did my three intros. Oh, yeah, I'm going to give it to Lula. Lula's going to cut the G2A part and put, like, a big Discord logo in front of the G2A logo. <laughs> That's going to be it, pretty much. I thought he's opposed to paying for art just that he thinks intros themselves are overpriced. Yeah. I mean, like, my sub-notifiers, right? Like, my sub-notifiers were about... Like four or five k, but you know, sub notifiers you get, you know, you get a return on those because you know people sub to your channel because they like your notifiers, and I take I take pride in knowing that like the notifiers that we have in this channel are you know probably better than any other WoW channel out there in general. So I like that you know I make sure that those are done with a good vision to win the way I like them to be done. The intros are just like way overpriced. Exploit them, uh, them school kids. <laughs> Well, the guy who made my current intro, he was actually in school for, like, graphic design and stuff, and that's why he made me the intro as practice. So that was kind of cool. We, we need more of those peeps, man. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, yeah, great for a portfolio. I don't even know where he got the picture of, like, Ghetto Azeroth from. I think he got it from, like, the model viewer and just made it bigger. <laughs> Is that what it looks like he did? Yeah, Mod yeah, Model Viewer or Wiki? Yeah, one or the other.
roll there, Oni. <laughs> Dog's on a roll. She's like all over the place. Massive horde army and light bringer, cop blocking alliance and dress for incursion. Damn. I don't think that's my battle group though, or my connected realm. I don't think I, I don't think I see Lightbringer ever. I should probably ding one fourteen after this boss. So it seems like like every five dungeons is about two levels and like sixty percent. So you think about it, you, you're probably going to end up doing about twenty time walking dungeons before you hit max level twenty twenty five. Which ain't too bad. Not bad at all. Here we go. One billionth attempt for Shaw. I've had it, bro. I haven't done Shaw in a while, but I'm at like seven, no, eight hundred thirty something attempts. Oh shit! 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 Forgot about that stuff. Uh, can we can we battle res that guy? Or do we have a battle res up. Dude, get that Zani guy up. I should have Fisto made you an intro. Oh God. <laughs> I don't even want to know, bro. I don't even want to know if Fisto made me an intro, man. I don't, I, I don't think that'd be possible. A Fisto made intro. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> Who knows what'll be on it? He's, he's unpredictable, man. <laughs> unsubbing. Yeah, exactly. Un un unsubbing. Yeah, right now, time walking with, I think, and even any normal group is the fastest way to level for sure. As long as you finish every dungeon in like less than 20 minutes, it should be like a six to seven hour process of spamming dungeons. I mean, unless you can, you think you can level and do it in that time. And maybe you can with a 30%, who knows? Who the fuck left? Why would you leave? Yo, book that guy, bro. Book that guy. Book him. Booked fool. Break yourself, fool. I think he's there. All right, let's go. Yeah, with war mode on, I don't know, man. It, it depends on how fast you level, though. It just depends on the, the kind of level you are. Because right now, I think what's happening is, as I said a couple minutes ago, I think that what's there's a bug where this is actually giving you. 30% for completing a dungeon. That's why it's so much experience. I mean, if you can get 300,000 experience in about 20 minutes of leveling, then leveling would be faster, but I don't think you can. I think it's possible. <laughs> Are you going to whine at me? I'm almost there, lady. Wait till I hit 14. When he's whining, like, when are you getting off, motherfucker? Shit. Yeah, so it's 18k viewers tonight. Really? So which one streamer is uh, carrying that channel? That's like, you know, that's like us saying, man, WoW has 35,000 viewers today. And it's just like really one person, you know? <laughs> who, who, who's, who's the lucky guy? Who's the lucky guy? Or gal. Streaming it. Oni. Because, you know, that's just not normal. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I don't see ESO, though, on the list of, of games being played. Oh, I do. Somerset. Who is it? Uh, Extra something? life yeah 
So one person has 18.4k viewers. Everybody else has 100 viewers. So, yeah, that made sense. Was oh, a gal? Yeah, I don't know. I don't even know who that is. So, I've been thinking about playing ESO, but it's more, it's along the lines of like, do I want to start a whole new character again, or just continue like empowering my current uh, Dragon Knight? I don't know what I want to do with that tune. Nixia. Oh, nay. Still blows away old school RuneScape for the top 22 almost every day. Yeah. I mean, WoW's usually top 15, top 20 every day. Depends on who's streaming at certain times and shit. You play ESO with a controller, huh? I know I play it with the still with the PC, the keyboard, the Naga. <laughs> Don't worry, WoW, WoW will have its viewers in about you know three weeks or so once uh, normal heroic battle for the Czar lore comes out, then the mythic race begins again. Sco, Sco and Method will carry. They're, they're gonna hard carry. I wonder if they're gonna if Sco is gonna stream on his channel or if they're gonna do everything under the Method channel. Honestly, I would do everything under the Method channel. But then again, you know, Sco's in charge, so play their choices. I think there's a uh, sponsored streams going on for uh, Atlas right now. Let's see the Colts in the playoffs. How about my Ravens? I'm scared of them. Ravens are the only, only ASC team I'm scared of. That's it. Not scared of any other team right now. If I'm uh, as a Colts fan, Ravens, I'm pretty terrified of that offense and that defense. Yeah, but I mean, if you're talking metrics, people will realize that the only reason ESO has that many viewers is because of a single individual. Because at least, like, you know, even the Wild Channel right now has, what, maybe like 12,000 people watching, something like that. It's spread out amongst a lot of evenly, you know, even-numbered streamers. Especially, you know, 7.52 p.m. is not a normal, optimal time for World of Warcraft channel anyway. Wild Channel doesn't get popping until, like, probably 6 a.m. in the morning. Black Desert Online will someday rise again. Maybe when they go console. Uh. Oh, God, this dog. By the way, dang, 114. I didn't see myself ding earlier. Yeah, the AD's Rattlers, I guess, are paying big time, just like they did for ARC. Yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, people are, are like, whining about other streamers streaming. I'm like, yo, who, who, are, who are you to tell another streamer they can't stream a sponsored game? Let them, let them do what the fuck they want. They're getting paid, bro. They're getting paid. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? It's no big deal. It's like Warframe. Like Warframe had like 100,000 viewers for like three weeks. Why? Because everyone was getting paid. And now it's like not even close. Now it's like back down to like two, three thousand people watching. So, I mean, campaigns are campaigns. That's why they call them campaigns. They're short little stints of lots of viewers and lots of paid advertising and stuff like that to get people to notice the game. You know. Free up as we purify and cleanse. Wait, where's that Azumat guy? Oh, there he is. The blight of Azumat. Thank you, Saliba. Ten gifted subs. What's going on, dude. Good evening to you, sir. And congrats on all the ten people who got their gifted subs from good old Saliba. 
who's gifted 1,041 subs to this channel in the last, like, God knows how many months. <laughs> a lot, a, a lot of gifted, a lot of gifted. All right, guys, I'm, I'm good for now. I'm good for now. We'll do some more levels tomorrow. I figure every day I could just do, like, two levels in, like, an hour and a half and then just hit 110 by, like, well, I mean, I'm, I'm, I have anniversary vacation this week, so probably Monday. I'll, I'll be like 120 on this druid. Hey, good games. GGs. GGs. Your legend grows. The crazy last two days. Oh, yeah, what's up? What's up with you? Hit 110. Grats. Yeah, I'm gonna call it there though. I'm just chilling right now. Uh, I want to make sure I got. I gotta get some sleep tonight. I got a. I got like a, a Chris Jones macro diet coach weigh in at about like 3 a.m. or 2 a.m. when I wake up. So I want to make sure I get like a good amount of sleep, take a nice big shit before I go to bed, and uh, weigh, weigh, weigh in. Uh, barely slept too much. Uh, barely slept too much shit to do. Gotcha. So we're gonna hit 110 this week. You mean 120? Oh no, 110. I think is on my void elf, which I didn't get to do. But yeah, I meant like 110 in general uh, on him. Yeah, there's a lot of AP. Yeah, tomorrow we got to get all these damn treasure maps done. Um, I'm going to miss a few of these tomorrow. Not too many. I'm going to miss three there. I'm going to miss... I'll, I'll have all of them. Okay, so tomorrow morning we have a big WQ uh, combos to do. So I'm only going to miss two of those. I'll probably just finish at least two of them now. Happy New Year's, bro. Happy New Year's, man. And a good New Year it's going to be. Yeah, but I should be coming on uh, at around like 1.45, 2.30 a.m. So that's in about six hours from now. Six hours from now, stream restarts. Again. Uniform uh, war mode doesn't affect time walking experience. But you see what I'm saying, though? Like... When you're on a 110 and you look at the experience you get from time walking, it's like 90K, 100K. Like, where does that extra 147, 140 extra K come from? Like, it, it has to come from somewhere. And it, it, either it's a visual bug or it's legitimately, um, whatchamacallit, you know, like, you know, giving you more experience than needed. Them two a days all day, bro. Well, like I said, I won't be here Thursday and Friday, so I won't be here Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday we're gonna be driving back from uh Disney, and then I'll be going straight to the bar to watch the Colts game at one o'clock with my friends, and then coming home, and then we'll we're probably gonna do like a big late night stream Saturday to Sunday, and then again Sunday night to Monday night. So yeah, Saturday Sunday will uh, it's almost gonna be like double p.m. to a.m. Anyway. Thank you all tonight for the subs, those resubs, tips, bits, and all that shit. Thank you for uh, hanging out with me for the last uh, two and a half hours. Um, and that makes it a nice 10-hour stream day, which I'm, oh, I am love, I love those 10-hour stream days. So I'll see you tomorrow, nice and early. Come back. We have a lot to do. Like, I have a lot of shit to do on, like, all my characters. Like, like all my treasure maps, all my dark shores. We got to do an old deer on my fucking warrior. Got to get the bear as close to 120 as possible. The void elf as close to, like, 70 as possible. Yeah, I got, I got a lot of shit to do, and I have about maybe like nine hours to do it in. So, yeah. Anyway, we'll get ready tomorrow morning. Lots of stuff. Lots of content. And I'll see you then. Enjoy the rest of your evening. And enjoy the rest of your streams on Twitch. I'll probably host somebody. Don't know who yet, but probably D of D's online. Peace.